hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET how to serve multiple selected checkbox list values into a single column in SQL server database table using C sharp and here we got the final output we got the checkbox list control and one button control I'm selecting the course names jQuery bootstrap and ASP.NET. I have selected three checkbox controls save see here we got a message selected checkbox list values ASP.NET jQuery bootstrap saved successfully let's check in my database table I'm executing this statement see here the course name ASP.NET, jQuery and Bootstrap. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET, first we will create a small table in SQL Server. I just logged into my SQL Server Management Studio. I am expanding the databases. Sample DB is my user database. I am expanding that one. Now in this sample DB, I am creating a new table. Right click this sample DB, new query, create table, DBO dot course name course ID, which is an integer data type. I'm adding identity column one comma one as well as I'm adding the primary key for this course ID comma course name and where cap 250 just for the demo purpose, I'm adding only two column names. One is a course ID, which is an auto generate column, and the course names, which I want to select the multiple checkbox list items into this course name column. Let's execute to create the table, and the command completed successfully. Let's check the course name table is created in the sample DB or not. Tables, I'm expanding the tables folder. Let me refresh the sample db database. Refresh. Tables expanding. Course name. Here we got the course name. Let's browse the course name table. Right click that course name. Select top thousand rows. Uh, right now in this course name contains zero rows. Now let's add some data into this course name table. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to File, New Project. I'm selecting the web templates and I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework is 4.6.1. The project name is Multiple Checkbox List Save. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm choosing empty. Click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Open Solution Explorer. The first, I'm adding a new web form page to this project. Right click the project name. Add. New item. I'm selecting web form. The web form name is checkbox save add and here we got the source page of the checkbox save.aspx page now between the form and do tag I'm adding one center tag h1 save multiple selected values from checkbox list into 
SQL Server table. Horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I am adding three controls. One is a checkbox list control and the second one is a button control. The third one is a label control to display the message. Open toolbox. I am expanding the standard folder. Checkbox list. And here we got the checkbox list. Now in this checkbox list control, I am adding some list items, ASP list item, ASP.NET, jQuery, Java, JavaScript, Bootstrap. Just for the demo purpose, I am adding only the five course names in this checkbox list control. After adding the checkbox control, let's add break. I am adding button control. Open toolbox. Button control. I am changing the button text to save break. The last control I am adding the label control to display the message. Label control. I am deleting the text property of the label control. That's it, we have done the designing part. Now switch to the design mode. Now double click the button control. Here we got the button click event. First I am adding the namespaces in the code behind using system.data using system.data.sql client the last namespace using system.configuration after adding these three namespaces now I'm adding the connection string properties in the web.config file open server explorer right click the data connections add connection server name is After adding the SQL server name, I'm selecting the database name. We have created the table in sample DB database. I'm selecting that sample DB database. Test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got the sample db.db is added under data connections folder. Now right click the sample db.db, click properties. In the properties, the third option is a connection string, which is a data source. Copy that whole part. Open Solution Explorer. Open web.config file. Now, inside this configuration, I'm adding connection strings. Add name. My connection is my connection string name I'm giving connection string now in this connection string I'm adding the data source the provider name the provider is the SQL server system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web dot config switch to the code behind now in the button click event First, we write the functionality for the selected checkbox list items. String variable checkbox select. I'm adding for loop integer i is equal to zero. i is less than less than checkbox list one dot items dot count property. I plus plus if checkbox list one dot items and this items take the collection of the checkbox list control which takes the integer data type I'm adding the I dot 
selector now inside this if condition I am adding one more if condition first we will check if the selected value is 1 if checkbox select double equals to notice here I have added the operator double equals to I am comparing the selected values of the checkbox list is string type only checkbox select is equals to checkbox list one dot items again I am adding i dot text property else in the else part if I select more than one from the checkbox list control checkbox select I am adding plus here is equals to between double quotes comma I am adding plus this one checkbox list one dot items one dot text string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between these double quotes I am adding my connection string name which is my connection copy this one paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes this object of main con next I am writing the string SQL query the SQL query is the insert statement so insert into the table name is dbo.course name copy this one this here the column name which is a course name copy this one this here the values single quotes double quotes plus plus between this plus plus I am adding this checkbox select SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters SQL query first one the second one is a SQL connection object which is a SQL call let's open the connection string open method SQL com dot execute non query method after the record is saved successful in the database table I want to display the message for that we have added the label one dot text is equals to selector checkbox list values plus plus I'm adding this checkbox select save successful let's close the connection string as well conduct close method that's it we have done the complete coding part it's time to check the results in the browser Google Chrome And here we got the final output. We got the checkbox list control and one button control. I'm selecting the course names jQuery, Bootstrap, and ASP.NET. I have selected three checkbox controls. Save. See here we got a message selected checkbox list values ASP.NET, jQuery, Bootstrap saved successfully let's check in my database table I'm executing this statement see here the course name ASP.NET jQuery and bootstrap that's it